Welcome to Age Friendly Cleveland. My name is Mary McNamara, and I'm the Director of Aging for the City of Cleveland. Across our country, we have what we call an aging network of services, because no one division of government, hospital system, agency, or faith-based organization provides all of the services an older adult might want or need to age successfully. As examples, some older adults may need transportation or modifications to their home or home health care or resources to stay engaged after retirement. It is our hope with this Age-Friendly Cleveland series that you might learn more about the resources right here in Cleveland. This next segment is about one of our trusted agencies or departments we work closely with every day to make Cleveland an age-friendly city. Welcome to Age Friendly Cleveland. I'm Mary McNamara, Director of Aging at the City of Cleveland. And today we're talking technology and getting connected. And my guest today is Joshua Edmonds, Chief Executive Officer of Digital C. Welcome, Joshua. Thank you. Good to have you here. So tell us more about Digital C and what its mission is. Yeah, so Digital C, we are a nonprofit. Okay. We're headquartered in the City of Cleveland. We're actually in the uh, Huff neighborhood. Uh, and our mission is a bridge digital divide. Simply put, many of us saw through the effects of the pandemic that a lot of people weren't able to get online, uh, mm -hmm. either because of those rising costs, made it really yeah. difficult to do that. But we also saw another side of the pandemic where there were people who were struggling with just understanding what was going on. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff in the digital world, and it's not like you know someone actually developed a curriculum, at least broadly, to help people get online. And so our mission is to bridge the digital divide for good and mm -hmm. ensure that every resident has access to a reliable high-speed internet connection and the necessary digital, digital skills to just engage in the digital world. You mentioned Digital C as a nonprofit. I'm sure that's one way it's different from other internet service providers, but tell me more about what makes you different. You know, we are the only internet provider headquartered in Cleveland. We like to say that as, as we're deploying our service, it's built for Cleveland by Cleveland. Mm. And you know, I think it's, it's a beautiful sticking point that over half our team lives in the city of Cleveland. Okay. Uh, so it's in, in many ways, it's neighbors connecting neighbors. Our, our, our actual headquarter space is the Midtown Tech Hive, and that's a community space. You know, mm -hmm. We're not in some giant skyscraper where we're overlooking everybody. It's like, no, we are in the community. We're in the neighborhood. You know, We don't have the uh, luxury of having shareholders that are gonna dictate the way we work. No, we have a nonprofit board mm -hmm. comprised of community leaders who love and care about Cleveland. And that reflects in our service offerings. And so we like to think that as we're deploying our, our, our networks and as people are taking our service, that there's a sense of pride and uniqueness that we are indexing on us being Cleveland. Mm -hmm. We don't have objectives outside of Cleveland. We're not you know, so big and so national that you might feel like you don't matter as a customer. For us, every customer that we're working with, that's, that's a neighbor to us. And so I think uh, the other part that I'd like to highlight is our even customer experience. If someone were to call to learn more about what we offer, they can call 216-777-3859. Local number. Exactly, and that's not a 1-800 number. I said that's a 216 number, and that's actually answered by the Cleveland Site Center. Okay. So the Cleveland Site Center, also a Cleveland-based organization who's answering these phone calls. I mean, this is a through and through Cleveland organization that is providing high-speed internet to residents in need, but at the same time, we're expanding our service offerings in ways that everybody who is in Cleveland sees some type of ownership of this product, that this isn't something that is just, uh, well, we just pay our internet bills. Like, no, you are supporting a Cleveland organization that is also supporting Cleveland organizations that's supporting Cleveland residents. That's really exciting. So tell us more about that vision of high-speed um, quality inter um, access um, service, especially for older adults. Yeah, so our, our service is it's $18 a month. Okay. And that's not a promotional price. Uh -huh. that is, it is $18 a month. 
we agreed at that price point for 10 years. <laughs> so $18, in addition to it being $18 and us not changing the price, uh, I think it's also really nice to know that there's no qualifications. Okay. I think that's the thing that mm. usually gets people caught up that they have to qualify or they have to have some type of certification, they need some type of paperwork. No. We designed this service so that every Clevelander would be able to take full advantage of this opportunity. Uh, and the beautiful part about this service is this wasn't something that it was just, you know, my idea. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't. This was a team of people, our board, uh, our leadership in, at City Hall, uh, even the governor. Like the, there's been uh, countless investors who wanted to see Clevelanders fully connected and namely our, our seniors. We know that, you know, as people are getting older every single day, we're seeing costs in this economy really rising. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at a carton of eggs and look at them mm -hmm. like, man, it's, it's pretty expensive out here. So the fact that we have a price locked internet service plan that is designed for people in Cleveland, specifically for them uh, to take advantage of at $18 a month, that means something. And so it, it's beautiful that we've been able to meet that need and we're gonna keep innovating. We're gonna look at other ways to serve residents. Our entry point today is through the internet, but there's other ways that we would love to be able to serve Clevelanders. And again, today it's the internet, but tomorrow it's gonna be something else. I've heard Mayor Bibb um, add up 18 times 12, and it's a, it's a fun number. What number is that? 216 are the 216. I love it. I love it. That's a good sign. So what are the key features of your internet service? And, and talk about that more, and what's a subscription look like? Yeah, so for the $18 a month subscription, uh, that actually gets you 100 megabits download and 100 megabits upload. Here's why that 100-100 number is important. Okay. Many times you might hear someone, uh, you know, they might say, oh, you can get 200 download, 300 download, but they'll only give you 10 upload. We said, no, no, no. The way that this works and the way out any internet um, program works, download and upload speeds correlate to download. That's content I'm taking in. So that's what I'm downloading online. Mm -hmm. Upload is what I am then pushing out. So if I'm an entrepreneur, if I'm creating videos, if I'm creating TikToks, that upload speed matters. If I'm working from home, if I'm, if I'm doing remote work of any kind, if I'm doing Zoom video calls, mm -hmm. that upload speed matters. So the fact that we said, no, we're gonna make it equal. We want just as much as Clevelanders are being able to take in their wonderful content that they're able to embark on digitally, we wanna empower them at the same time with entrepreneurial ventures that allow them to say, no, our upload speed is gonna match our download. So we're gonna be we're gonna be consuming and producing content equally. And so to be able to package that together at $18, that means something. Historically in America, I would say within the past five years or so, the standard for high-speed internet in our country was 25 megabits download and three megabits upload. So not only did we say, yeah, that, that, that's a nice standard, but we can do more because Cleveland deserves more. So that 100-100 symmetrical at $18 a month, that is a very special, unique package that you will not find anywhere else in the United States of America. And it feels great to be representing Cleveland in that mm -hmm. way to know that Clevelanders are getting something that is, quite frankly, altering the entire telecommunications industry countrywide. That's great news. And I know um, you're in some neighborhoods already and you're gonna be even more you know, next week, the following week. So talk more about what residents can expect when they call and if there's a wait list, et cetera. Yeah, so when residents call the 216-777-3859 the number, when they do call that number, they're going to be warmly greeted by a member of the Cleveland Site Center. And typically what they would have to, if they're interested in our service, they'll just give their address okay. at that point. Uh, our staff is going to be able to determine if our service reaches them today or not. If it doesn't reach them today, it's fine. We have a mandate and we, we agree to this and you are hearing me say this, that we are committed to expanding coverage to every single household in the city of Cleveland. And so if we can't serve you today, uh, that does not mean that we have forgotten about you. We might not be able to serve you tomorrow, but it could be next week, it could be next month. Mm -hmm. We are rapidly expanding our network. And so as people are on that wait list, the minute service becomes available, we then contact them, we'll reach out to them, we'll either send them a text message, we'll email them, or we'll call them. The other part, if someone you know just doesn't want to talk on the phone, we have people who are like that, they can go on our website, www.digitalc.org, mm -hmm. and at that point, they're going to be able to then put in their own address and they'll see if they qualify for service at that time. Okay. And again, when I say qualify for service, that doesn't mean I'm saying you have to you know, enroll in any type of program, no. 
That just means that your address falls under our umbrella as our coverage expands, it just falls underneath that. And so again, it's gonna be a very aggressive timeline. I would argue most people will actually be able to, to take our service now. So as they're watching it, you know, don't wait, don't delay. Don't wait. Yeah, <laughs> um, like you know, this is, this is something where we want people taking this service because we did intentionally design it for them. We intentionally, if you are a Clevelander, this is for you. They don't have this in Lakewood. They don't even have this in East Cleveland. You have it in Cleveland. So we're looking out for Cleveland by providing this service and we want Clevelanders to take advantage of this service. Joshua, let's segue into, so a, a person gets internet, but for someone who's not been online, and there are many older adults who've not ventured into that, Digital C does more than provide internet. You're providing classes. That's right. And so talk with us more about those and um, what you're seeing as popular classes and, and how someone signs up for those. Yeah. So. And, and, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the names of some of these initiatives. Yeah, please. So um, we love our C's at Digital C. Okay. Uh, and so the name of our internet service, uh, you can keep referring to us as Digital C if you'd like, but it's actually Canopy. Okay. And we, we say Canopy because we got you covered. And so I like it's, it. Yeah, uh -huh. it's pretty nice. Uh, but in addition to Canopy, our classes fall under what we call Click. And so the Click initiative okay. is something where we knew, again, that providing a home internet connection that was valuable is a significantly valuable entry point into the digital world but we wanted to fully empower people how would we fully empower people you know a lot of us we don't know what we don't know mm -hmm. and so these classes are a really great opportunity where we have developed tailored curriculum to residents who are expressing digital needs so it's everything from how to protect yourself online. Okay. You know, anytime we're in election year, we see the scams popping up, we see the, the, the deep fakes, or is that real or not? There's a lot of that stuff going on. So we've been very proactive with gleaning that information saying how do we design a curriculum that is going to empower someone so they don't get duped. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've had a, in one of my past lives, I actually did tech support for a large retailer, and it would be, I would get calls all the time about people saying, hey, I gave my bank information because you guys said I was gonna get a $50 gift card. Uh, where's my gift card? And it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And that would happen a lot. So it's mm -hmm. like protecting people online is a big part of it. But it's not even about that. It's also about how do we create ways that people can excel online. And so we've been looking at even, well, we've already developed curriculum, I should say, that uh, allows people to, if they're interested in workforce activities, if they want to develop a resume or convert a resume from a Word file to a PDF, it's, it's meeting the workforce needs today because, you know, there, there might be some people who are still active who still want to work, mm -hmm. who do need that resume. So we'll walk people through how to create those. In addition to that, we've even gone as far as giving people intros to artificial intelligence because that's what's came up a lot, AI, chat, GPT, mm -hmm. how do I use that for, for my business or how do I use that just to be in the know? Uh, in addition to that, we've also helped people create social media and even giving them social media guidelines, what to follow online. We've taught people how to even develop streaming profiles. So people hear um, you know, someone talking about Netflix or they hear them talking about Hulu or Amazon Prime. What are these things? How do I access them? So we're taking a very tailored and nuanced uh, approach to understanding digital needs that are in the community beyond internet. Joshua, this is really exciting about this affordability, accessibility. But let's talk about classes, because I know for many older adults, um, they haven't been online. And we really saw that during the pandemic, mm -hmm. that they were having a hard time connecting to their medical appointments. So tell me what's happening at Digital C with classes. Yeah, so the, the, the classes are, uh, we place a lot of emphasis on classes and learning, because we know that we need to, it's a requirement. And as the internet is the entry point, we know that the classes, that's the enabling, that's the difference maker. And what we oftentimes see um, we might have someone who might be online a little bit, i.e. Mm -hmm. they might have a Facebook. And it's like, okay, but that's not the extent of the internet. How do we actually open and empower people to do more online? It's the classes actually answer that question. And so the very first part of our classes, um, you know, we'll talk about how, how do you protect yourself online? Mm -hmm. There's okay. been a lot of people who have been victims of scams, um, and that's, that's you know, everybody across the age spectrum, but mm -hmm. they really index on seniors. They will target them. So our job is like, how do we prevent that from happening? How do we protect Clevelanders online? Now, I can't speak for people outside of Cleveland, but I yeah. can't speak for Clevelanders to say, no, we, we have your back. 
We have, your, we have your back. We're going to give you a curriculum that's going to empower you to be able to protect yourself online, that you'll be able to, be able, be able to spot a scam, you'll be able to spot someone trying to steal your identity. Those are the things that we're trying to prevent, so that way someone has a fuller online experience. But it's not just limited to protection, because some people might say, well, no, I'm actually pretty good with that. Mm -hmm. No, we got something for you, too. Um, yeah. So like, we actually look at also enabling and empowering workforce, too, because there are some people mm -hmm. who still want to work. They yeah. still want to go, they, and they, but in order for them to do that, they would have to have some digital fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And so that's even from us teaching someone how to create a resume or how to build one, uh, all the way up to us empowering them on using Microsoft Basics. Uh, so that's if someone wants to create something on Microsoft Word, they want to do a presentation with PowerPoint, they want to even do some numbers for their business through Excel. I mean, we lean into those Microsoft fundamentals. We also teach them how to leverage Google Suite too. So it's like, we're not, we're not just you know, a Microsoft company. It's like, no, we will use every platform imaginable to unlock opportunity. But we don't stop there. Wait, there's more. We also index on the social media side of the house too. There are people who, they might have already, already have a Facebook, but they're seeing all these weird videos shared and these people doing these weird dances and like, what is this TikTok? Uh -huh. We'll teach them what that is. We'll teach them how to create a TikTok. We'll teach them what to look for on online and, and, and through these social media applications. And so we look at our, our classes as being maybe a, a holistic parallel to what the internet is on the other side. So we have Canopy that's, that's powering people through the digital world and then Click, which is actually giving them the tools necessary mm -hmm. for them to be just learned explorers. Thrive. And, and I think that's the point where there's a, a, a different, a, something that actually differentiates us from other internet providers in this case is, as we're looking at classes, there's an, there's an emphasis that we want people to excel online. We don't want them just to take our internet. I mean, mm -hmm. that's beautiful that they do. We, we, that, that's, we, we, we love that. But at the end of the day, even if they weren't taking our internet, we still want them to thrive. So it's not like these classes, uh, you have to be a, a Digital C customer. Mm -hmm. Ideally, we would love if you did that, <laughs> and we could save you money too. But again, uh, these classes are free, and they're not just exclusive to, to Digital C customers. These classes are for Cleveland residents to be able to excel online. And I think that you know, if there's a curriculum that we don't support or we don't have in-house yet, we're developing it. Our team in-house between LaDonna, Daryl, like they are phenomenal assets to our team and they're community-oriented people who listen, and mm -hmm. they're there to support. So if there's something that, that we don't have today, I guarantee if you pull them aside, we'll have it tomorrow. That's great. You've mentioned the Tech Hive. Is that where mm -hmm. someone goes for the classes? And tell us more about the Tech Hive. That, that's correct. So at the Tech Hive, we run what's called a digital clinic. Okay. And so a digital clinic is our, is our way of being able to just treat um, whatever mm -hmm. digital um, need that someone might have. We can address mm. it that way. So people will come in there. I would like to say it's training on demand. Okay. So whatever it is that someone's going through that they just can't figure out with their computer or they can't figure out with some type of application online, they're able to bring their stuff in and then our team will work with them directly and empower them to figure out you know, whatever they need. In addition to that, yes, at the Tech Hive, um, we are running a number of different programs and initiatives in-house. So yes, we will do training within the Tech Hive, but in addition to that, we also will do community events. And uh, that, that space has really came alive, mm -hmm. uh, all the way from having Leo's Casino concerts um, at, our, at our Tech Hive. In addition to that, we've also done poetry uh, nights, we've done um, birthday parties. It's just been a really cool community space that I believe is a necessary, it's necessary for us to operate this way. If we're truly going to be this community internet provider that is also doing these classes, then we need to open up our doors for the other community needs as well. And so it feels, it's actually honorable to be in this position where we get to just be the um, beneficiary of so many smiles in the space from residents who are actually using the Midtown Tech Hive to its fullest potential. And tell us where Tech Hive is located? Yep, that's 6815 Euclid Avenue. Okay, right in Midtown, right, accessible by bus. That's right. Right on a main thoroughfare. That's right, so people, if people are wondering that, that new Dave's that's up over mm -hmm. there, we're right around the corner from there. They don't know Dave's, they know the Magnet facility. If they don't know that, we're right across the street from Gallucci's. Okay, um, so it's like, <laughs> some old, some new. <laughs> that's right, and it's free parking there too. So, you know, if someone is, is still mobile and they're still driving, free parking for them. Uh, we also just recently launched the Hive Cafe. Okay. So that is, um, it's, it's its own entity, but it provides healthy eating options for people as well. And the food is good. You know, that's All actually right. great. Um, I'm not gonna lie, we, we really enjoy um, being able to 
uh, eat balanced food. Uh, specifically, if I were to highlight something I like the when they ever, whenever we get to do lamb chops, uh, I'm a fan of them when All they right. cook them there too. So good so, cooking. Absolutely. So you've you've got um, the canopy, mm -hmm. you've got the clinic, yep. you've got click, you've got a chef. That's right. You've got <laughs> ah, <nice>. community. <laughs> And this is all for Cleveland. Is there anything we missed, Joshua, that you want to uh, tell viewers today about your agency? I would say, if I were to sum up everything, mm -hmm. one, please go on our website, www.digitalc.org. That's where a lot of our information lives. So if someone wants to enroll in a class or they want to see a class online or they just want to see the course schedule, we have that on our website. Okay. In addition to that, uh, if they want our service, that is on our website too. Uh, I will reiterate if they would love to call and if they would like to call us and we love calls, that's a 216-777-3859. Uh, and the, the last part on the internet alone on Canopy, you know, we're here to serve residents of Cleveland. That's what this is for. And for us, it goes beyond us running this business, this nonprofit, it's beyond that. This is mission driven work. We have a mission to bridge Cleveland's digital divide for good. And it takes everybody. It takes all of us. You know, uh, you know, we're appreciative of TV20 for the opportunity to be mm -hmm. here. But you know, we, we believe that for so long, Cleveland has been the recipient of so many things that just dreams deferred, I would, I'd say. Mm -hmm. But this is our chance at rewriting history in a way that the most innovative, equitable development that I've, I've seen mm -hmm. is actually taking place in Cleveland. And we want Cleveland residents to take full advantage of this opportunity. This is really exciting. It's exactly why we wanted you on Age Friendly Cleveland. We want Cleveland seniors to get connected to Digital mm -hmm. C. So thank you so much for joining us today, Joshua. And you're watching Age Friendly Cleveland. I'm Mary McNamara. We'll see you next time.